Dragon Ball Super Chapter 56 began the invasion of Earth by Moro's army and the protection of Earth from Earth's special forces and the Galactic Patrol, and it was amazing to say the least to finally see these guys in action once again, uh, especially Yamcha. That was some really cool stuff, and as we saw in the last chapter, we had him just beating the crap out of some convicts and be like, who's next? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to more of that. And in the next chapter, I think that it is going to largely focus mostly on more of that and probably tying up some of those fights. Now, we didn't get a whole lot of TN in the last chapter, so I'm thinking in chapter 57, we're going to get uh, more TN action, hopefully, although it doesn't seem like they really like TN all that much, even though in the Tournament of Power, he did more than Krillin did, I will say that. <laughs> uh, but I think we're going to get a little bit more of Yamcha kicking ass and maybe even having a little bit of trouble, but... Um, Tien and Chaozu, I think we're going to have a little bit more of them, uh, but I really don't think that's going to be a large focus. I think this chapter is going to largely focus on Krillin, actually, fighting a giant panda dude, <laughs> and uh, maybe Roshi fighting those uh, the two babe convicts. <laughs> uh, but in terms of... Um, focus, I think, is definitely going to be Krillin and definitely going to be Android 17 and 18 versus freaking Android 73. Now, what role is Piccolo and Gohan going to play in this? It's hard to say because I feel like uh, with Android 17 or 73 having Moro's power, like, I feel like he can just, you know, absorb Gohan and Piccolo's energy right now and just be more powerful than 17 and 18. Um, you know, that is until time runs out, so maybe that's just what they're gonna have to do is wait till the Moro clock runs out inside of uh, Android 73 here. Um, so needless to say, the fight between Gohan and Piccolo, freaking awesome, dude. Like one of the best fights, I think, in the whole manga, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, with the, in terms of Krill and fighting the panda dude, I think we're definitely going to see that conclusion of that. And in fact, in the very end of this chapter, I think that uh, that is when Moro is going to finally arrive. And we're going to le leave off with a cliffhanger right there. And speaking to this, this whole arc in terms of its pacing and its balance, like it's had really good pacing, really good pa balance, and uh, just having a nice variety of fights and types of fights and like twists and turns so when we start chapter 57 my prediction is that we are going to leave uh, we're going to begin where we left off, right from Android 17 and 18 fighting 73. And then I think that is going to be the bulk of the chapter. And we're going to cut away to Krillin's fight with Panda Dude and maybe conclude that. And then maybe a little snippet of Tien and Yamcha action. And I, I really, really, really hope that they don't shy away from the Tien and Yamcha stuff. Because Yamcha, man, I want to see that Wolf Fang Fist. I want to see that Wolf Fang Fist succeed for once <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> i want to see roshi perving out against those con convict girls and then defeating them oh man there's so much potential here you know uh but it's it's really interesting because it can really go anywhere with uh gohan and piccolo there like what are they going to do obviously they're get they're, they might even just fly off and let 17 and 18 handle uh 73 even though 73 is really a Piccolo and Gohan villain, I really want to see them defeat him. So maybe uh, when the timer runs out, Gohan and uh, Piccolo are going to be like, all right, it's our turn now. Like, okay, you know what? Piccolo, you, you take him on and you defeat him. I would really, really love to see uh, 73 uh, get his Piccolo powers and then him and Piccolo just fight it out. And then Piccolo, after a big struggle, just get the get the win you know that would be so amazing to see uh but we're probably not gonna get that <laughs> so yeah in terms of uh vegeta and goku the last few chapters haven't had a big focus on them at all which i really actually appreciate because um it helps with the variety and like i said the balance of this whole arc and focusing on different things and just keeping everything fresh um, I think that Vegeta is going to complete his training, uh, at least enough to where he can start heading toward Earth. Um, especially if he senses that Moro has arrived on Earth, then he's going to be like, you know what? 
it's time for me to go because last chapter he was like okay you know what moral's not there yet i still have time the the convicts are there whatever those are small fly fry um goku is still going to be on his way to earth and maybe he'll be stopping at another planet asking for directions or something um it's just kind of weird i feel like he could just sense out like piccolo and gohan's energy because uh you know you know what i'm saying uh but anyway I guess that's kind of all the predictions I have. I don't think anything significant or major is gonna happen other than maybe uh, tying up Krillin's fight with Panda and maybe just continuing the fight with a lot of the other Galactic Patrol and, you, you know, Moros Convicts and stuff like that. And maybe, maybe see a conclusion to Android 73's uh, fight with the heroes. Although, I'm really actually kind of on the fence about that because I feel like there's still a lot more potential with uh, with that fight going on. That one chapter can can really wrap up, you know, because I think at the end of the chapter, Moro is going to arrive. And of course, Saganbo's with him. And I really think that Gohan is going to get it get it on <laughs> with Saganbo. Not that way, guys. <laughs> but um, I think that they're going to have an epic fight. Uh, hopefully, because who knows? Like, who else would pair up against Saganbo? Maybe maybe 17? Um, but I think Gohan would be a really good pairing to fight against Saganbo. And then 17, 18 is a good pairing to fight against 73, even though I want Piccolo to get his win on 73, <laughs> you know? Uh, so anyways, we still have to talk about Vegeta and Goku with in terms of Vegeta You know, he's he seems to be fairly close to I don't, I don't know if you want to say completing his training but getting far enough to where he can use it effectively and Of course, he's wanting to wait till Moro arrives So Moro's gonna arrive and then at the end we're gonna see Vegeta. He's like, okay, it's time bum bum bum, you know um, so then, in terms of Goku, I don't think we're going to get much focus on Goku. He's probably still looking for directions to Earth. <laughs> Even though, you know, the, everybody's fighting on Earth, so he should be able to, you know, sense them out. Uh, but he must be a very, 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 very far away uh, to not be able to sense them. But anyway... Um, I guess that's all the predictions I have. Obviously, you know, drop your thought waves in the comments below. I always like reading your comments. If you're not subscribed, su subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do the Dragon Ball Super manga every single month, multiple times, and uh, as well as more stuff. So thanks a lot for watching and take it easy.